Today I'm gonna be taking some plushies and turning them into fidget toys. I've made tons of fidget freaks with various kinds of plushies. In December I posted a video in which I happened to pick out some Funko FNAF plushies from Five Below. I love the aesthetic. I love the character design. But boy did that cause some drama. I happened to transform those into what I like to call art. And a lot of people were unhappy about that. Mainly due to the fact that sometimes Funko FNAF plushies can cost a pretty penny. Oh my god! But like I said, I got my plushies at Five Below. They cost me only five bucks. Everything's gonna be okay. I have a little, small but mighty collection of Funko FNAF plushies. Only three of these will be satisfying your fidgeting needs today. Here's my fidget toy loot. Go ahead, admire it. Nice. There's some noisy putty. That's my personal favorite. <laughs> There's also twisty tubes, poppets, balls, ramen, balls in ramen. There's even a very realistic tongue. Some of you might find that disturbing, but I think it's very fidget worthy. So we have lots of options if we choose to use them. I even picked up some silly bands purely for nostalgia's sake. I used to be a silly bands connoisseur back in the day. All right, so here's the first victim. If it hurts you to see me cutting up Funko FNAF plushies, we can just think of them as regular plushies that happen to bear some resemblance. In fact, I renamed this one to Sunshine. I'm sure that won't bother anybody at all. <laughs> Sunshine's got some bunny ears that are kinda blah, kinda boring. They're basic is what they are. There's nothing special or fidget worthy about them, so we're gonna fix that. Sunshine's now bald. Never looked better. In fact, his beauty is blinding. I can't stand to look at him anymore. I'd rather start fresh with today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a very popular meal kit company here in my apartment building. I see their boxes all the time. Many people turn to this meal kit company to save money and eat healthier instead of stocking their kitchen with processed junk or eating out. HelloFresh delivers step-by-step -step recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients right to your door straight from the farm. They have an endless collection of seasonal recipes to choose from. I chose the fully loaded beef taquitos, steak with garlic herb shrimp, and meatballs with creamy onion gravy for this week. They have so, so many enticing options. Loaded fajita potato wedges, yakitori style steak skewers. I honestly just want them all. It's surprising how fast and easy it is to whip up a restaurant quality meal right in your own kitchen. You guys know I suck at cooking, but even I couldn't mess this up. <laughs> we hate grocery shopping, but even more than that, we hate figuring out what to cook for the week. So this really helps save a lot of stress and time, especially for someone with a really busy schedule, like me. Use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use code pogloonfeb 65 for 65% off your first meal plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Let's just focus on the ears. They have a little surprise inside. Wonder what that could be. Maybe a secret message, perhaps. Nope, just trash. How disappointing. Help me! So I hollowed out the ears and then I got rid of them. As for the trash, I got rid of that too. I have some measuring tape, but I have no need for measuring tape, so I'm murdering it. I want to cut it up into itty bitty pieces, roughly the size of Sunshine's severed ear. For some reason, I thought measuring tape would be harder to cut through, but honestly, it didn't even put up a fight. Pathetic. I almost felt sorry for it. I didn't cut this measuring tape up for nothing. It actually provides a very satisfying snap. He loves it. I stuffed the ears and sealed them up with some fabric hot glue. Wow. I'm giving Sunshine back his ears. I hate seeing him go through premature ear loss. Some of the fabric hot glue was peeking through. No worries though, that's an easy fix. That's why I have fabric markers. I'm just gonna camouflage all that. Perfect. I've got a bubble ball. It's very squishy and also very hairy. There's just cat hair everywhere. I whipped out my hairy bubble gum just for Sunshine. He's gonna be popping a bubble out of his mouth. But before he can do that, I need to do some trimming. I'm trying not to cut out too much. Just a little incision is all we need. His head is full to the brim of fluff. There's no space for some good old hairy bubble gum. So I'm getting rid of some of that stuffing. I'll add that to my growing collection of plushy guts. 328 AM. Normally I add fidgets from the back, but for this hairy double bubble, I'm gonna just try to stuff it in there. It took some maneuvering and upper body strength, after which I still didn't fit it in there. It's not a very big incision, but I tried again and this time I forced it to work. Wow. You made a fit. 
I did. He's not done quite yet. I picked up a Switch from at the dollar store. Not a typical fidget toy, but I thought it would be fun to fidget with nonetheless. It has a bit of resistance to it. Definitely could use some WD-40 or something. I don't know. This giant Switch plate thing isn't gonna be able to fit inside the plushie, so I busted it open. <laughs> busted it open and popped out the important part. I'm 10 and I can break a fidget toy open. You're so weak, graveyard dude. First of all, where's your mama? Can it past your bedtime? I forgot to take off the tags on these. It's an off day today. That's okay. These plushies are only five dollars. You may be wondering how I'm gonna keep this switch in place. There's really only one option. Fabric hot glue. The strength of fabric hot glue knows no bounds. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Now I'm just gonna color it with some fabric. Now that's something right there. <laughs> now we got blueberry. Blueberry. Dewberry? <laughs> the official name is Freddy Frostbear, but remember, we're treating these as regular plushies. They're no longer part of the FNAF universe. Henceforth, he will be known as Blueberry. He looks like a Dewberry. Help! Help me! The tags say only at Walmart, but I found him at Five Below. A lot of people in the UK seem to be having trouble finding FNAF plushies for whatever reason. Where I live, they're everywhere. So yeah, can't relate. Similar to Sunshine, Dew... <laughs> Dewberry. <laughs> I just can't with Dewberry. Similar to Sunshine, Dewberry's also having some hearing loss problems. Probably because I'm chopping off his ears. But my fabric scissors have not been cooperating lately. I don't know if they ever cooperated, to be honest. That's cute. I want his ears to be snappy like Sunshine's, but this time I'm using a slightly different method. I've got some of these hair clips. This is just a small fraction of my collection. It's always really hard to record anything in this apartment. There's either my screaming toddler with Space Bun's neighbor wailing at the top of her lungs, or my fiance decides to set up an obnoxiously loud toy for our cats right next to my filming station. What it means to shut up. Let's just put the loudest toy possible over here. When I just like isolate myself, not just go ahead. Eventually. You thought that was it? For blueberry? No. I found a centipede in my backyard. It looked just like Dewberry. And you know what Blueberry looks like he could use right about now? A little pedicure on his little feets. I wanted to shove the centipede through his feet, but I'm not going to be able to do that just off these incisions. So I'm cutting open his back. Oh, I ripped its head off. That's okay. Hey everybody, I'm Blueberry! We're just going to name them whatever we want to name them. I have a feeling no matter what I call them, it's going to be wrong, so... This one is Blueberry. Kill me. For some reason, I thought I was done with Dewberry. But actually, I've got one more surprise for Blueberry. It's one of those ID things. I don't know the technical term for it. It like zips out and zips in. His bow tie isn't zippy enough for my taste, so I'm about to make some adjustments. I'm taking this ring off. Won't be needing that anymore. I made a little incision on his chest, and then I realized my zippy thing won't fit through that, so I need to hack open his back again. Dewberry is looking as dapper as ever, though a little on the creepy side. <coughs> Mostly because of the legs. I think he's looking kind of scary, actually. Maybe this was a bad idea. Moving on to this cutie. She no longer adheres to her Liberty Chica past. She now goes by the name Minty Fresh. Statue of Minty. This is probably my most favorite fidget freak of the day. Largely inspired by the llama corn I made a long time ago. A lot of you guys really loved that one, and so did I. She's holding a flaming cupcake in one hand and a tablet in the other hand. July 4th. I don't know what the rest of that says. Now I'm gonna cut off her head. All right, now that she's decapitated, we're gonna focus on her head. I'm de-stuffing that and then gouging her eyes out. She's going through some stuff today, but she's gonna come out better on the other side. Just you wait. I'm gonna be making her some new and improved peepers out of these empty containers. They still had some residue left over, so I had to scrub them down real quick. Minty's not gonna have basic run-of-the-mill eyes. I wanted her eyes to be special. I wanted them to be able to fart. 
I stuffed some silly putty in them. Maybe a little too much. I was a little heavy handed with the putty. I got a bag of balloons at the dollar store. What a mistake that was. I didn't realize Dollar Tree was selling an assortment of messed up nightmares. I have no idea what to do with most of these. I don't even know what most of these are. <laughs> I handpicked the couple normal ones in there and I'm just making do. Now Minty's got some squishy eyes. Now you get this. How's that satisfying for you? It's just fun. Bruh. It's fun. Whatever. It's just kind of nice to just like push it a couple times and then you know you can move on with your day. <laughs> I'm basically just fitting her new eyes into place and holding them in there with some stuffing. I've always been a huge fan of bulging eyes. If you know me, you know that. But Minty's eyes are just disturbing. They're like next level. I'm using some felt to undecapitate her. I just wanted to try to put her together as best I could. After all she's been through, I wanted to help her pick up the pieces. Now here's where the inspiration from the llama corn comes in. I stole one of Sniffledorf's springs. He's obsessed with springs. These are probably his favorite toys. The more bent up they are, the more he loves them. This one is his least favorite since it's in pristine condition. So today I'm using it to reunite Minty Fresh's head to her body. I've been doing these fidget toy plushies for a while now. I haven't seen them on the market or anywhere. I always love how they turn out. If I ever get to make my own plushies, I would definitely want them to have some fidgeting capabilities.